Hello, differential equation solvers. We have this differential equation, and we're going to be using the techniques of exactness to see whether or not we can solve this. The first thing we need to do is we need to see if it's exact. And just to remind you, the format is we're going to call this M, and we're going to call that N. Now our test for exactness is we need the partial m with respect to y equal to the partial n with respect to x. So let's just do that. Differentiate this expression with respect to y. Okay. Differentiate our n with respect to x. Two goes away. Fantastic! They check out. Ta-da! This is an exact equation. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means its solution has the form some expression psi equal to a constant, where psi sub x is equal to m and psi sub y is equal to n. I'm going to handle this first equation. So we know that psi with respect to x is our m. That is 3x squared, y squared, plus 3y. So I'm going to anti-differentiate. And when I do that, I'm going to get psi. I'm going to anti-differentiate these terms with respect to x, just x. So I'm going to get x cubed y squared plus 3xy. All right, now typically when we anti-differentiate, there's going to be a c here. But since I'm anti-differentiating with respect to x, I could have any term that only involves y. Because if I have anything here that only involves y, when I differentiate, differentiate with respect to x, it goes away. So we're going to, instead of having a c here, we're going to have any function of y, which we are going to call h of y. Now I'm going to take this and differentiate it with respect to y. So when I differentiate h of y, I get h prime of y. Now I want this to be n. n's way up here. And you'll notice as I write things down, we've already got a really good match. In fact, everything matches up, except I need that equal to that. Well, that's pretty easy to make happen. If h prime of y equals 2, that just means that h of y is 2y. Great. We now know what our psi looks like. All right, so our psi is going to have the form. You can see it from here. What we found before, add on what our h of y is. And the solution to our differential equation is that this has to be equal to a constant. Note that this is an implicit solution, not an explicit solution. You really don't, well, maybe you want to solve this for y. I don't. We'll stop there. And that's how you use the method of exactness to solve a differential equation.